Hello everybody and welcome on board this 2005 Sea Lion S34 and uh, we're going to take a really good look around the cockpit of this really lovely boat to give you an idea of her layout, what kind of condition you think she might be in and uh, generally how she feels. So at the moment as you can see we've got uh, the cockpit tent is removed, there's a new one or the new sections on its way so at the moment it's off so it's great because it's allowing a nice breeze to flow through and um, we know there's a new one on the way which is always a boon but just starting at this stern which is as good a place as any we'll just have a look over the over the back end now as you can see we've got a nice wide swimming platform here plenty of room nice and deep that way so lots of people can sit and dangle their legs over the edge we've got a nice swim ladder here as well so that's nice and easy to uh, get in and out and we've got the snap davits here as well for a dinghy if you require something to hold on to here something to hold on to along the stern as well so this boat is really well catered for for things to hold on to grab rails everywhere so nice and easy to get out onto the side decks nice and easy on the stern as well but uh, let's come back towards the cockpit area as promised as you can see we've got a, a nice companionway door there very nice and easy to open so once we're open there we go it's easy to get in and out and once we're closed it's secure and should uh, render it impossible for most kids or dogs to get past it i think and it still leaves it looking because it's so clear leaves it it, uh, looking nice and open there too on the port quarter here we've got a bilge pump access here or to, to operate the bilge pump and we've got a step here as well which allows us to step up onto the side deck as i mentioned before and underneath here we've got a nice gas locker room for a couple of bottles in there looks nice and secure and away from the accommodation as it quite rightly should be fantastic Turning around to the, uh, the starboard quarter, you can see we've got a really nice uh, L-shaped seat, well actually C-shaped seating here, so room for a couple of people here, room for a couple around the back and maybe somebody else here too, but uh, out in the sun at the moment, or you could have it in the shade with the tent down, etc. But above us, if we just have a quick look, um, we have got something that can provide us with shade if we want it. We've got the radar arch here with the radar above it, obviously. We have uh, lights situated or uh, recessed into it and we also have a locker here which drops down for more stowage too very nice indeed we've got the cockpit table here so that's just been uh, all nice and uh, rubbed down and re, -sand and re uh, look, i think oiled or varnished and generally speaking sets it off really rather nicely and it is a nice feel good place to be if you want to take this table down you can do and stow it away uh, uh, if you want to go down into the engine room which is this hatch here take the table away take the uprights away the whole lot lifts up nice and easily one-handed operation and you've got really good access to the uh, to the volvo pentacad 32 sat down there very nice looking installation and actually plenty of room down there too so uh, really rather good turning our attention forward then slightly you can see if i just go back to the companion way you can see that we've got a really nice and easy access through here towards the uh, towards the helm and towards down below to the left here we've got a sink here so uh, we can be making our uh, our drinks our gnts etc up here our fresco no worries at all and looking forward you can just see again because we've got uh, some of the cockpit tent removed which is being uh, replaced with new very shortly you can see that we've got a nice bench seat along the port side and you can see the front side of the she the c-shaped seating there if i just uh, lift up this uh, seat here or this cushion you can see there we've got a small hatch there that's large enough to escape from the after cabin or if you wanted to leave it open overnight with the cushion up that would also give you a bit more air down there not that you really need it because it does have an opening window and uh, yeah generally speaking very good so far let's turn our attentions to the helm station so there you go we there you go we've got a room for two maybe three at a pinch people to sit and look forward through the screen we have got a really nice wide wraparound screen so great for watch keeping at sea for that all important rule five of the coal regs and uh, just looking back at the bottom of the radar arch, you can see we've got uh, a stereo speaker there, one on the port side too. And if I just move towards the helm position, I'll sit myself down nice and comfortably, you can see we've got a wheel directly in front of us, engine start stop here, throttles, trim controls, more controls here, electrical controls we've got the bow thruster control here and the rudder angle indicator there too underneath here if it may still be turned on we've got the uh, the radar which is in uh, standby at the moment and under here we've got speed and under here 
we have got depth all switched on looking hunky dory and to finish it off we've got the uh, the vhf uh, handset there looking forwards a little bit further you can see we've got what would be a small navigation area really nice and handy actually you can stand here and lean over or you can stand here and lean over um probably not used so much these days as people move to electronic means but uh, it's there if we need it and also somewhere really handy to put uh, uh, voyage uh, guidance etc etc uh, quite a way away from the helm seat actually although still quite visible you've got the gauges so we've got uh, tank contents here we've got battery voltmeters we've got engine temperatures uh, engine oil pressures etc engine speeds hours and warnings and also your uh, trim settings there so all nice and easy to get out and also out of the way of things that might bang them and shatter the uh, the little dials etc etc which we see so often so very nice ergonomic setup uh, really nice and easy for him or her to talk to these people here or to talk down to the galley or indeed the people reclining here all really rather good we've got a bit of a I suppose a recess here for so we would call that a shelf so it's lightly fiddled and we've also got a handrail here to help us as we go down below very nice indeed you'll notice we've got the nice uh, teak deck in here as well all looks in good order so um, very nice indeed. Let's take a trip down below. Uh, we'll go through the companion way, which is a very nice one-handed affair. There we go, open and closed, or sorry, closed and open. And uh, I'll take you downstairs for a look and we'll see what we find down here. Now you can't fail to be impressed by this interior. There we go. Very nice, very light, very airy, very neutral tones and feeling that a little bit special. I'll continue down and first I'll just look up towards the companion way there we go so very easy to get through as i mentioned easy to open and close which is always really important and once it's uh, open it's recessed right back away there so it's not taking up any room in the cockpit then you've got a step over the lip one two three four steps down or three actual steps and then the final step onto the uh, onto the deck there in, inside here we've got this uh, nice wood which i believe is a, um, an upgrade when she was originally purchased and we've got a, a compartment here for a bin or anything else you'd like to use it for and that wood just carries on into the galley as well so if there's any spills or anything like that that would be nice and easy to clear up should you need to Carrying, a, 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 carrying along around the starboard side, you can see we've got a lovely great big TV on the after bulkhead here. We've got the electrics panel here with just about everything you can, you can imagine wired into that. We've got the stereo snuck away in the corner there. Nice windows both opening, so lots of breeze and air coming in and out, etc. The headlining looks lovely as well, looks very nice and easy to clean, and it looks really clean too. And we've got lots of uh, recessed lighting and more stereo speakers down here too. Very nice. Nice fiddle shelf along here, which I think would probably double as a handhold if you're uh, just making your way around the sofa in inclement weather. Then underneath, as you can see, we've got to stowage here for glasses, mugs, etc., etc., in uh, very nice, stylish uh, cabinets. All nice wood too. Lovely windows. Uh, they're, they're they're low down on this boat, so the view out of the windows is just out of this world. Basically, you're looking down at the water rather than the, rather than the boat next door, or in this case, one of our own fenders. But uh, it is really really nice to see those. And then down to the sofas, you can see we've got a really nice uh, Alcantara type upholstery, which again was an upgrade originally, I believe, and a nice decent sized saloon table there, which does drop down. Uh, with some infill cushions that are kept in the after cabin which you'll see shortly uh, makes into a double bed as well and i didn't mention also that the uh, that the seating upstairs in the cockpit also makes into another auxiliary double bed now down here we've got what the owners refer to as a pit so we lift this lid up and we've got a nice big stowage underneath basically just empty lots of room for extra food cans uh, bottles of wine whatever it is you'd like to have great it's down there it's out of the way and it's a low center of gravity too and we've got a tank underneath this one here so nice and easy access for that too storage underneath as well so uh, generally speaking for a boat of this size we do have lots of lovely storage which is great so let's carry on and move forwards into the forward cabin so straight through the door here we go we've got a lovely oblique island bed how comfortable and inviting does that look you can see the headlining uh, sorry the deck head does uh, drop down here that's where the coach roof slopes down towards the bow of the boat but that's okay you'll only be sleeping in, in here anyway i think you shouldn't you need, need to be standing on the bed but we do have a hatch above for uh, light and ventilation and as you can see the windows here again look down to the water which i think is a really lovely feature because we are on a boat after all on the right hand side as we move in we've got a nice uh, hanging locker here plenty of room in there for your longer garments and uh, you can see the uh, the finish is lovely. We've got some leatherette here uh, or vinyl. We've got uh, bare 
bare gel coat here, nice and easy to clean. And we've also got the, the continuation of the nice uh, Alcantara types uh, cushion covers that we saw in the saloon. Uh, on the right hand side, underneath the window, we've got a nice big shelf. We've got steps up to the bed here, a nice little, little TV nestling in the corner. And then uh, either side of the bed, you can see we've still got the continuation of this lovely material upholstery. We've got a cupboard to starboard, a cupboard to port, a mirror in the middle for that uh, little bit of extra illusion of space. And it does seem like a really nice, wide, comfortable looking berth, uh, somewhere I'd be quite happy to stay, no problem at all. Round to the port side, you can see uh, very similar to starboard except that we've got this opening up uh, vanity unit there so you can get your bits and pieces in there whatever it is you would like to store and a couple of steps up feels like uh a nice airy compartment you can see the neutral tones again carried on through the saloon does make it a very nice place to be so I won't go through this door, I will open it. We have Jack and Jill access to the head. So this is a toilet compartment through here. Now that means that we can go to the toilet from this compartment without disturbing anyone in the saloon. So, uh, or if people are up and having a nice time in the saloon, you can nip in and go to the toilet without anybody knowing. So that's uh, that's good. That's why we call it Jack and Jill. I'll show you the other door in a moment. So in here, we've got uh, we've got the, the, the head. So this is a freshwater flush electric head and with the lid as well. So if you want to sit down, perhaps if you're showering or washing at sea maybe or if you're just tired you can sit there and do what you want to do no worries at all we've got the sink in the corner here with the shower head attachment we do have a window as well to let uh, moisture etc out and we also have a mirrored uh, cupboard unit there all very nice and this boat has been fitted with a, a really nice uh, heated radiator or towel uh, dryer there so uh, very nice indeed and uh, should serve to keep those dries those towels dry quicker so we'll close that door and i'll just uh, come out of the compartment and close the door behind me and we'll open up the other jack and jill door which is this one so this door here is where we were just looking through and now this door here means that we can go to the toilet without disturbing the occupants of anybody in the without disturbing the occupants of the cabin there. So that's really nice. And again, there's your view of the heads. Uh, very simple, nicely radiused corners here. So nice and easy to keep clean and a good headroom too. So uh, no compromises in there at all. Lovely. So let's close the door to that. And I'll just close this door here so we can see the, the galley unit better. So here we have the galley. Linear affair, forward and aft, very nice. Looks in good fettle to me. We'll start at the top. Again, you can see we've got the nice head lining. We've got a fire blanket. Uh, we've got a shelf here with, with the light fiddling. Um, recessed lighting on the stereo speaker. We've got cupboards above. Plenty of room in here for all your weekend or longer bits and pieces. And we've got uh, basically a bit of work surface here, which is given over to the kettle here and a coffee maker. Uh, sink, uh, a one and a half sink unit here with a mixer tap. You can see we've got 240 volts under here. And uh, the cooker, this cover does lift up and fold back against the bulkhead to give you access to the, uh, the burners down below. And if you want to use the actual oven that's nestling the down below below there too under here we have uh, more uh, we've got uh, cutlery store etc etc uh, nice big fridge in here and uh, generally speaking plenty of room and facilities for cooking whilst you're away having a nice time with your friends and family so for the um, the final compartment let's go open this door now this is the door to the after cabin which for a boat of this size has been really well thought out and uh, i actually rather like it and we'll see why in a moment so here we've uh, made use of well sp space saving use we've got the microwave and the toaster in here good idea sitting on top of this uh, nice tall um hanging locker as we go in again we can see we've got uh, two windows here and if I just look up, you can see the hatch that I mentioned in the cockpit. So if you need to get out or if you want to let some more light and air in, we can do it from there. Looking down, you can see a lovely window looking out onto the pontoon this time. And uh, down here, we've got a lovely great bigger unit, uh, lots of stowage, cupboards, etc., etc., for your weekend gear. In the corner, we've got a lovely great big seat, uh, very nice and comfy. Plenty of headroom above it as well. These cushions are the ones that we would use on the saloon table in the saloon to make it into a double. And if I just move around here into the middle you can see just what a nice compartment this is now obviously we're compromised on the headroom but there's still room there i would say for most people unless you're really really tall to sit and read a book and so you don't really need a head height in here you're basically crawling into bed and going to sleep these do make into a nice double two so uh, really really nice compartment neutral tones feels light, nice and light and bright because of the windows and the door in and uh, essentially because of the decor and the bedding used as well i think would help so uh, very nice if 
if you do want to stand up and get changed, then you just come out and you stand in the lobby here where I was just crouching down. And uh, that's where the head height should just, just go up. So where I'm sitting, I've got good, good headroom. If I want to stand in the uh, corner here and get changed, I've got full head height. So all very nice. So this has been Tim from Boatshare Drop Brokers taking you for a, a full tour of the cockpit and interior of this uh, really lovely 2005 Sea line S34. If you'd like any more information, just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.